Looking into your profile, you've been up to different things and you have an experience of leading projects as such where your focus is mainly on women empowerment. So um, knowing the fact, as I'm referring to it, we know that, you know, still there is a lot of room for improvement, for more inclusion, specifically for women to be um, availing the opportunities in education and different sectors. And as you have been doing such projects, so what do you, would you like to say that... Um, are we in the right direction? Are we progressing? Is there like something that gives you more energy during your, you know, work programs which you've been up to where you have found out that, yes, the things which we are doing is actually adding to, you know, their improvement. And it's perhaps you've been doing, I think, for more than five or six years, definitely. Yes. So have you observed, you know, a good change so far? Yes. I would say it's 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 a very good question and I would love to answer this. First of all, I would like to say there is one thing constant other than the speed of light and that's okay. change. All right. And I believe in it. But yes, change is always slow. You can't see change even in a year. You can't say that okay, the project is over, where is the change? What are the statistics? What are the students doing? Are they up to sub something? If you promise that the project will improve the entrepreneurial opportunities for the students or the job opportunities, have they achieved it right after the project? No. Simply, my answer would be no. Not instantly. Mm -hmm. Change is slow, but it's definite if you're working hard and striving hard. And I would like to give and quote a few examples over here. I have been running a few projects like, let me talk about Lincoln Corner. Lincoln Corner got established in our university in 2015. Prior to that, university is there since 2005, but I don't remember in these last, like 2005 to 2015, in that decade, I don't remember students knowing about opportunities like UGRAD, SUSI, mm -hmm. or Fulbright, anything like that. And you are aware, Zashan, we do not have a USCFP office over here in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. So generally, the public also doesn't know. Like in Islamabad, Karachi, and Lahore, there are offices and people and students that are aware of it, but we here no. So I think uh, both these Lincoln Corners, the Lincoln Corner at IM Sciences and the Eleanor Roosevelt Corner Bashar is the best project of the U.S. Embassy because it's, it's helping youth in so many ways. Uh, for example, I, I can see uh, when, when the corner opened, students they for the first time got an opportunity to have Zoom sessions with different U.S. Mm -hmm. speakers and uh, they, they got hold of so many books related to GRE or American fiction, American literature. Then, uh, do you know, uh, students have been successful and they, they have been to U.S. on U grad programs, on SUSI mm -hmm. programs. Then we could collaborate through the platform of ERCP with the USCFP and we arranged uh, sessions related to GRE preparation. And uh, we also arranged mock GRE tests. So that's, that, that is a success. Uh, two years back, one of our students and former FOC, Umay Mantarek, she got selected for this very prestigious Iowa University's Summer Institute writing program. So I think that is a success. Um, similarly, uh, when I announced the English Works program at my university, once again I saw that um, students, um, they got selected for the post of teaching assistant. All right. Yes. Okay. Then uh, last year, around 200 female students, we equipped them not only with, uh, we equipped them not only with English language skills, but 21st century job market skills. Mm -hmm. They are still studying, of course, they have not graduated, but... Um, like one of them, she got selected for a very prestigious scholarship in China. She went there. Then we had a girl. She was a housewife. Uh, she got married very early and all her education was private. So when she joined this program, she said, I see a difference in myself. I have I've gained confidence. I, I know how to make a CV now. And for so many other things that she had learned. And uh, she, she started her own business. Right, so, And there they were many other success stories too. So um, I think 
uh, all these projects they do play a role and i think whatever i am doing i see a change in my students i see a change in all the girls who are a part of any project that i do and um, i i would say a journey of 1000 miles begins with a single step mm-hmm. so yes whatever i am doing i'll still call all of those baby steps but at least i am trying i'm trying to take some small steps yes i completely agree with you you know everything which you start it will always start from some scratch and then you have to build on it